Hello everybody and welcome to Star Trek Online. I'm going to be playing this with Naruki, but in order to do that I need to get through the first little tutorial bit. I actually played Star Trek Online a lot when it was a paid game a few years ago. Uh, let's go with this stuff here, that's all good. Um, I haven't played it since it's gone free to play though. So. My other character is up to level 50, but in order to make the series a little more interesting, we're just going to go back and start again at the beginning and watch the cutscene, I guess. And this music will probably get my channel in trouble if I just let it go here, because it is copyrighted, so I'm going to talk over it a little bit here while that's going on, because After YouTube Contact ID Starfleet, likes to find that stuff. I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them, and wage the campaign of peace. Spark. Live long. And 21 years ago, the star of the Hover system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Ramadan homeworld. I failed. That yeah, pretty much sucks. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. So basically things are screwed up. Battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. It's basically the whole galaxy is just in, in complete chaos at this point. Revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Of course they are. Now the Borg have reappeared and attacked the Vega Colony. The Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Alright, so we have our work cut out. Alright, so that's a general premise, is basically we have to fight every enemy in Star Trek all at once in various sections of the galaxy. So, like I was saying, I have a, a Rear Admiral character. Uh, I'm not going to be using him for this series because it's not going to be very interesting if I'm just maxed out on my level. Who are we going to? I have not played the beginning of this in a long, long time. And there's no voiceover. I'm not going to be reading everything everybody says. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to read it, but mostly it doesn't really matter. So, like the whole idea... Battle stations, okay. Bring up our map here. Yep. Anyhow, like I was saying, the the whole idea of this game is pretty awesome in my opinion. I really like Star Trek. It's actually my my favorite series in existence. I like it more than Star Wars, I like it more than any of that stuff. So when this game came out, I was super excited about it. I played it for probably I don't know, like five months and then it just got to the point where I'd kind of done everything. I know they were still doing season updates and all that, but I was just not really particularly interested in paying $15 a month for a game anymore. But now that it's free to play and Naruki was going to be playing through it, I figured why not, you know, partner up and do this. Talk to the captain here. Uh, the Borg, they're always attacking something. And... Just any general console here will work for this, I guess. Gotta interact here for a moment. I would... How do I turn off these help things? I'm pretty sure I can turn off the help things. Or maybe not. This is the emergency medical hologram. Oh, this one does have a voiceover. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These boards are different than the ones in my history record. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I've lost contact with the bridge, and main engineering is under assault. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. 
I don't know how much longer we can hold the ship. All right, so randomly there are some people who have uh, dialogue, but we got to return to the turbo lift and take it down to the transporter room now. So that's back this way. I got my Star Trek The Next Generation uniform on here. I'm pretty happy about that. It still has all the stuff I had purchased and unlocked and what have you when this was a, a full game. I guess I get some bonus stuff because I actually bought the game back then. I'm not sure what is what. Alright, so we're going over to the other ship. Alright, let's go. Beam me up. I'm going by myself, I guess. Brilliant. Away team of one. It's all we need. Just send the red shirt ensign in there. TNG time. Red shirts don't matter anymore. But, uh... Anywho. Uh, yeah, I played this game quite a bit. I was a member of a fleet and all that. And, wow, it's kind of skippy when it's loading. There it goes. Like I said, I was a member of a fleet and went through most of the content in the game. They've done a few season update things, which are like contact pack, content packs since I've played. And I definitely don't remember it all. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. I need your help, Ensign. Much of the Kittimer's crew was injured in the initial Borg assault. None of the crewmen assisting me have medical training. Maybe you will be more useful. I assume you passed basic medical training at the academy? I guess, sure. Use your tricorder to scan one of the patients. Your data will be uploaded to me automatically. There are advantages to being a hologram. When you're done, report back to me. Alright, so nobody knows how to use a tricorder, apparently. But we can do it. It's no problem. And... report back to you now? Not you know, you bad, don't look that Anderson. busy. You show some talent for medicine. If you work hard and apply yourself, someday you might be almost as skilled as I am. I do not Lieutenant want to be a Phyllis doctor. is working on restoring the computers and auxiliary control. He needs assistance. Report to him for new instructions. I will stay connected to you via comm badge until the situation is under control. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory right, and good an extensive for you library your, of files and military tactics and, what and command means. strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. There well, is an eighty-eight point four seven percent chance that you will need my help. I suppose we're headed off this way. I can hear phaser fire going on over there. There's force fields in place though, so we don't need to bother ourselves with any of that right now. Let's go talk to this dude. And sure. And use the console by the force field to uh, store the Borg pattern. Sure, I can do that. Console by the force field. Let's do that. Alright. That was rather humane of us to just beam those Borg up. Alright, where are we? The door behind him, he says. This door... This door does nothing, you liar. What do you want me to do, man? This door? It's not really behind you, but... I guess it is from a certain point of view. Let's hit this thing. Do something. Oh, we beamed them into space. Sucks for them. Seems like an... Oh, and they glitched the wall. Seems like a pretty elaborate way to try to kill some pork, but okay. Think I can handle it? I can go up to the bridge. We're going to deck two. That ain't the bridge, but okay. And I don't know if it's this turbo lift over here that I need to go on. No, we we beamed over, didn't we? Is there a turbo lift over here? There's not a turbo lift over here. See, this is the stuff I'm talking about where I, I really just don't remember some of this crap. It must be the turbo lift over here. Is this a turbo lift? No, that is not a turbo lift. Probably over this way then. Probably was right near it. Yeah, it looks like a turbo lift to me. It's all glowy and what have you. I have a feeling that is where we wish to go. Destroy Borg devices. I can do that. So, back when I started playing this game, um, it was, you know, early MMO. You know how MMOs are when they first launch. They're not the best. You know, there's a lot of glitchiness and weirdness, server issues. 
especially when they first launched. The servers were just unreliable as heck. You get kicked all the time. So I'm hoping... Oh, it's a Borg. I'm hoping a lot of that will be a lot better 